Welcome back once again, Spazites, to another, <clears throat> pardon me, Lego Minifig Club, the Minifig Club, unboxing, unbagging, whatever you want to call it, opening, uh, surprise bundle for the month of October 2022, and uh, yeah, these came in a little late, obviously, it is December when I'm making this video, but they are slowly getting back on track instead of being like three months late it's only two uh just uh they've, they've had some issues but i'm i'm i have faith i have faith because i really love the idea of these little blind packed you know you get to build three random minifigures with parts they send you and and i've got tons of uh, spare parts including a whole ton of uh, parts that I've gotten from their flash deals and ordered for my my own sig fig, uh, my own signature figure that uh, I'm building based off of uh, what what I want to make a figure. But anyway, let's get into this package. First, we have our postcard for the month. Uh, the back of it's got some skulls and sticks and fall leaves, and then here's a beautiful picture by Amy Davis. Uh, of a figure holding a leaf, and that is a very pretty figure. Good job, Amy Davis. A Amy Davis. I can't talk. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put that down. Next is our postcard featuring our um, monthly photo challenge, which I've been saying I'm going to start doing, or should start doing, for the last two years, and still have not started. Uh, <laughs> maybe I should. But photography challenge, happy owls on Halloween. I wish it was still that time of year, but. <laughs> and then uh, you also have a blindfold minifig challenge. So there you go. And then here are some pictures from other, uh, uh, other subscribers to the minifig club program. We got Ed uh, Kin Kintadilla. I hope I didn't slaughter that. I'm sorry. Anthony D. Grig Grigoli, Grigoli? <laughs> Anthony D. Grigoli. I hope I didn't slaughter that either. <laughs> uh, here are a few of our favorite photo submissions from our group of the past month. Uh, Johnny Boone, nice picture. And uh, Brittany Sebastian Brass, another nice picture. And Jose Bened Benedetto. Cool. I see a big. Uh, Lego movie backdrop in the back. That's cool. And uh, who's that? Is that... Oh, is this the one with the toilet? Yeah, I think that's the... Uh... Actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's got to be the toilet. I don't know. Anyway, let's let's get down to the pieces. We want to see the pieces, right? So, oh, wait. We still do have uh, this month's bookmark featuring the glow-in-the-dark skeleton guy. He looks so cool. Sometimes we think, see things more clearly in the dark. Jane Lee Logan. And then on the back, it's just that print of, uh, we got an owl with some skull and crossbones. Or random bones, not crossbones. Let's see. Here we have our big sticker for the month. Same print still. Uh, I do have a little sticker and a... Here's our blue bag with parts. And our yellow bag with parts. And our gold bag. Put that to the side here. Next is, I don't have my little sticker and my skeleton. Little sticker is just a small version of the large one. And this is a glow in the dark. Actually, I don't know if it glows in the dark. But this is a magnet for your refrigerator. That would be really cool if that glowed in the dark, though. <laughs> and I'm assuming he's a trick-or-treater. He's got a flashlight and a candy bucket. And that is so cool. So, anyway, let's go ahead and open up our parts packs. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to zoom in a little. Let's move the camera just a hair. Zoom in a little. Open the parts off to the side. We'll do the torsos and legs first. And then we'll do the heads and other, other pieces next. First, we got... Straight orange legs. I love that color, so that's a keeper right there. We got nice teal legs. I think that's teal. Another nice solid color. 
And then we have more prisoner legs, which I, I just got a pair of these in the last one as well. So those are always helpful, though, for building a prison colony um, in space like I have want to. Um, here we have... Um, it's not a Lex Luthor. It's got tan hands, which leads me to believe that it's a, uh, a licensed figure. It must be a Marvel figure, and I just don't know who it is. Yeah, I'm not sure who this is. I'll have to look. Now, obviously, you can change the hands out if you really want to, so if you like this figure for a different character, and you want him to just be a, a generic Lego character you can change out these flesh colored hands for yellow hands see we have another body i think this is another vitruvius i think i just got one of these too so sometimes there's duplicate pieces i don't know why they have so many of vitruvius parts and then here we have a oh cool a generic tool and wrench guy too bad he doesn't have the uh suspender pants printed on the back that would have really made the made the set and give him the orange pants i really like this i'm going to build one figure out of my favorite parts as i go so uh let's see we got three heads to choose from we got here's a lady head i think i just got this one too she's got a smirk and then the other side she's serious and has some scuffs on her face so i do have that one we got, ooh, I like that. I wonder what that's from. He's got double-sided, and he's got some sort of a mechanical, some sort of half visor going on. I definitely want to put that on this guy. Okay, and then last but not least for the heads, we got cool sunglasses stubble. I think I just got him last uh, batch, too. And cool sunglasses stubble, although for some reason he looks just... No, I think that's actually part of the print. I was going to say his, his face looks a little scuffed, but I think that's part of the print. But I think we just got that one, so we'll put that. I might hang on to those and those for my Sig Fig, just because they're good to have multiples of. And if I want the same character to be on multiple different bodies, I can have the same head, and then I don't have to switch the heads around. So if I want the same character to have different outfits and, in, you know, characterizations. But anyway, here is our accessories and hair head accessories and other minifig accessories. I'll put those off to the side here. And boom. And right off the bat, I see we have a Vitruvius's hair. I'm pretty sure that's Vitruvius. So that's funny. To have that i might keep that for the sig fig i know i haven't gotten that hair before we have a set of harry potter wands that's neat let's see we got a uh generic black motorcycle helm oh it's not black it's got oh i've gotten a couple of these i could build a biker gang <laughs> that would be cool uh some binoculars i love that accessory we have another printed piece featuring a ghost on it so that's from the hidden side uh, another set I love, and I love having these little phones. That's a neat printed accessory. Um, another piece of fire. I know we just got a piece of fire yesterday. Uh, another criminal hat, which I know we already have that as well. A little police hat, at least that's what I call it when it's in black. Um, and a red hard hat for construction workers. And then another large golden sword. We got that in the last pack as well. So let's see what our uh, special um, gold piece is today. Oh, I can feel what it is, but I don't know what which one it is. So let's see. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. Okay, so they sent me a little flashlight. A little red lighted flashlight. Is that navy blue? That is a navy blue. I've never seen that color before with a red stud on the end. I don't know what set this is from. But this stick in this color, or this lightsaber handle in this color is pretty neat. So, at least that's what I generally see this element as a lightsaber handle. I know they have different ones for specific characters. 
but I think that's the generic one. So, yeah. And that's everything from October 2022's LEGO The Minifig Club. I mean, it's not associated with LEGO, but it is all 100% LEGO products. Anyway, that is 2022 The Minifig Club. Thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe down below. If you like my video, please subscribe. It's completely free for you to do and help me grow my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, let's see. That having been said... Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Until next time, be kind, happy hunting, oh, and happy holidays, because it is still December, Christmas is just a couple days away, and be safe. Don't forget to wash your hands, and when you go out, please be safe. Bye, everybody.